Hi guys, how are you? Okay, someone uh, asked me about uh, summing the values in uh, tkinter trivia table. Uh, summing the values of columns and rows like that. So I'm going to cover them all in this video. So please watch the entire video very carefully so you won't miss anything. I hope this will be very useful for you. So let's uh, import our tkinter import tkinter as tk and uh, from tkinter import everything and uh, we are going to work with uh, tkinter preview so from tkinter import ttk now let's uh, create our main window when tk dot tk now let's set its uh, size when dot geometry and uh, size will be 800 by 600 and the title will be calculations right now when dot main loop let me show you the window this is the window right now uh, we are going to work here and we will create a first uh, frame here and then we will create tkinter preview so here we go let's create our first uh, frame frame win and frm dot pack let's uh, give it some paddings pad y 10 ok and fill both and let's uh, make it expand true as well you can use one or true now here we will create our tkinter preview table ttk dot preview and its parent will be frame or frame this frame okay so frm will will be the parent of this preview and its column will be four columns will be good enough one two three four and show headings right now here uh, let's uh, uh, set alignments of uh, columns tv dot column one anchor t uh, tk dot center okay so our all the data will be aligned to center of column let's do this for all the columns okay now let's uh, set their uh, headings tv dot heading first column heading will be product product and uh, tv dot heading second column will be quantity 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 okay and tv dot heading uh, three uh, third column will be price product price okay so price here and we will also have another column where we will show the sum of uh, sorry total price of uh, quantity uh, for this uh, product okay and uh, in the let, uh, letter in this video I will also show you how can we sum of all these rows in another row which will be our last row
I hope uh, you will get what I'm doing. Total price. Okay, this is total price column, and uh, let's also uh, import style so we can increase the font size of uh, uh, our data, which is uh, which will be showing in the tree view. So here we go, tick enter, import font, and here we will create our font size. Size will be, I think 15 will be good enough, right? Now here we go. Here let's uh, create our style for our tree view. TV style dot configure. Mm. preview and here we will set the raw height it will be 30 okay right uh, we created headings here let me show you how is it looking then we will work with our products data Oh, I forgot to pack the tree view. So here we go. TV dot pack. Pad X ten. Pad Y ten. Fill both and expand one. See here. Right. Uh, these are the columns. Now let's uh, populate this table. So for that, here we will create our products data. Product name like uh, apple juice and its uh, quantity like uh, 10 and its price uh, 9.5. And uh, second product will be um, mango juice. And quantity will be 15. And its price will be 12.99. Uh, mango juice is expensive than apple juice. Now our third product will be orange juice and uh, we have quantity it's 20 and its price will be 13.45 mm, let's create another product mm, banana uh, by the way there is a banana shake but let's make banana juice Mm, it will look odd so let's uh, make it banana shake okay and uh, quantity will be 15 and its price will be 11.99 okay these are the four products we have and uh, their quantity and their unit price right now let's populate our tree view table with this data so for that we will use for loop for i in data here we will ins uh, use our tv dot insert okay you have seen all this in my previous videos and values so 
sorry i right let's try it okay see it's showing uh, products uh, data the total price uh, column is empty let me set their uh, font size first so you can easily watch it so here we go uh, where we set the style okay style dot configure preview and here font fnt let's check it okay good now it's easily visible okay so now i'm going to work with this column total price and the last row which will sum up all the rows okay for all the columns let's work with this column first i hope you are getting what i am doing and i hope it will be useful for you okay so here i will use like this i uh, first uh, first element in our uh, data is this product name so this is uh, on our first index okay and second is quantity and third is our price okay so this is the index 0 1 and 2 and index starts with 0 you know and for the last column here what we have to do is we will simply multiply these two i 1 multiply i index 2 okay let's try it you can see oh ho let me fix it okay it was my mistake okay now you can see it's showing total price right i hope it's showing correct total price you may calculate it at your own let me create the last row which will be sum of all these values so it's very simple let's create a um, three columns total quantity total price total or sum of amount now here we will update these variables total quantity plus we will increase the value with this i first index sorry second index which is one which contains the quantity and total price plus equal i2 and sum of this will be i index 1 which is quantity multiply i index 2 which is the unit price right okay now here after the for loop it means out of the for loop we will create another row with tv dot insert guys please like and share my video and if you did not subscribe to my channel please subscribe it 
I do my best to keep working for you. To be very honest. Okay. So here and and here we will give it values. Here we will specify the name of row or title of uh, column. Sorry, column, not row. Column. Value of column will be total. Total values. Okay, and here we will use a total quantity and then total price and sum of amount. Let's try it. Okay, guys, you can see this. This is our last draw which is showing sum of all these uh, values above this row. 10, 15, 20, 15. Okay, this is 60 is the sum of these values. Same uh, here and same for this column too. Okay guys, I hope this will be useful for you and you will like this. Thank you guys. See you next video. Please stay tuned for more videos. Take care. Goodbye.